In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a WordPress website with Elementor Cloud, including your own domain name. But first, in case you're not familiar, I want to introduce you to Elementor. The Elementor plugin is legendary in the WordPress industry, allowing anyone to create awesome websites like these simply by dragging and dropping. While the Elementor plugin is clearly great with 10 million active websites and over 7% of the web being built with Elementor, the problem is that each one of these 10 million websites had to pick a place to host their website from literally hundreds and hundreds of different options, which as you probably already know is not an easy choice. Well, today that choice gets a whole heck of a lot easier because now Elementor offers its own cloud hosting for a truly fantastic $99 a year. And the reason this is such a good deal is because this price not only includes the cost of the Elementor Pro plugin, which is typically $49, but also because your website is hosted on top of the Google Cloud platform and leverages the worldwide Cloudflare content delivery network both of which will make your website load fast for virtually anyone in the world. If you do the math, you're looking at less than $9 a month to build your website with some of the best internet infrastructure. So if that's something that you wanna get started with, let's hop on into the WordPress tutorial. After signing up for an account, you can give your website a name and choose a subdomain. I will show you later on how to connect your custom domain name. Choose the type of website that you're creating. In my case, it's a blog. Next, you can pick from dozens of different templates. I'm going to skip this for now, but as it says, you can customize and switch your choice later. Setup will then create your WordPress site, set up your dashboard, activate the Elementor Pro plugin, and finally unbox the drag and drop editor. After a few moments, your website is ready. You'll get an email like this with important login information, so keep a lookout for that. But back in your Elementor account, you can access your WordPress dashboard directly right here. Let's take care of some housekeeping by removing the sample blog post, sample homepage, and this plugin right here that we don't need. Notice how the Elementor Pro plugin is automatically installed and activated for you. Also, go into Users, Edit, and give yourself a nickname to display publicly, and don't forget to set a strong password for your WordPress website. Okay, now that we have that stuff taken care of, let's set up the homepage. Go to Pages, Add New, and then click on Edit with Elementor. This will take you to the Elementor Editor. I always like to go into settings down here, give my page a title and toggle the hide title switch. All of the awesome Elementor widgets are located up here. And like I said, it's truly as easy as dragging and dropping. Here, I'm going to add a title, center it, change the color, change the size, and then do the same thing again for a tagline right below it. Below that, I'm going to add a three column structure, put an animated headline at the top of each with a call to action below, and that looks really good to me, so I'm going to publish it. Next, let's make a header for our website. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Templates, Add New, select Header, give it a name, and click on Create Template. Feel free to pick any of these existing designs. I'm gonna pick this one and customize it with a blue and purple gradient like this and pick one of these shape dividers. I'm gonna switch out this stock logo for my site title and give that a bit of a shadow. The middle element is a navigation menu, so let's go to the WordPress menus page to create our first menu. Since we just have one page right now, let's go back to pages, add new to create a placeholder for our about page. That looks good, so let's go back to appearance, menus, add the about page to our nav bar, and save it. Now back in the Elementor Designer, we can see the about page in our navigation bar. I'm going to tweak the size of the text and instead of this phone number, I'm going to swap that out for social icons and link to my YouTube channel like this. A few more tweaks to the header to get it just right and things are looking pretty good. That should give you a pretty good idea about how to use Elementor. You can go through the same exact process for your website's footer and pretty much follow the same type of design workflow for each page of your website. Blog posts are slightly different from pages and can be accessed from your WordPress dashboard by going to posts. To create a new blog post, simply click on add new and begin writing. When satisfied, go ahead and publish. As for the design of your blog post pages, you can go to templates, add new, single posts, click on create template, pick a design and customize it to your liking. Click on the green publish button and for this, the default all singular condition is fine. Finally, click on save and close. After spending some time designing my website, here's what I came up with for my homepage. Here's an example of my category page, and here's my about page. The last thing I wanna show you is how to connect your domain name. From your Elementor dashboard, click on manage this website. In the manage domain section, click on the plus in the upper right corner, 
And as instructed, copy the IP address and then go to where you bought your domain name. In my case, I registered thriftytony.com with Google Domains. Find the DNS settings and create an A record with the IP address and another A record for the www version of your website with the same IP address. Back in Elementor, it says it might take up to 48 hours until everything is ready, but for me, this only took a few minutes, at which point you'll get an email like this. The only thing left to do now is to turn off the site lock when you're ready to officially publish your website to the internet. I have lots of other videos specific to Elementor and WordPress on this channel, including this video right here, which is 15 important things to do after installing WordPress, so check that out next.